Okay guys, I hope you're well. Now this job that I'm about to show you, the first few minutes of the video got deleted, so I thought I'll just put you in the picture before you watch the video, and it may make more sense to some viewers anyway. So I got called down to a combi boiler. It's the heat line combi boiler. Uh, boiler was working perfectly fine on heating, uh, but when customer was running the hot tap, um, the boiler wasn't responding to it. Uh, there was no demand showing on the boiler uh, when you run the hot tap so I initially suspected that it was going to be the turbine or the flow sensor. Uh, now when I opened the cover up it was a Friday afternoon it's a job that I carried out yesterday today's Saturday so yes uh, when I opened the cover found that the sump which initially seemed like it was the actual sump that was leaking water on top of the sensor the flow volume sensor uh, that that is what caused the damage uh, as they went on the electronics of it uh, it kind of messed the sensor up um, that was my initial thought when I removed the front cover uh, but upon inspection I found that the leak was actually coming from the seal above uh, now if you watch the video the rest of the video I hope that's gonna make sense to you okay enjoy watching okay guys so the culprit turned out to be the seal on this flue pipe so where this pipe is connected the seal wasn't sat properly and that's where it was leaking from so i've taken it out cleaned it put it back in uh because i don't have an alternative seal and it's a friday afternoon but i've put that back in and i'm hoping that that'll hold now the damage that's caused that the water's been leaking on top of our turbine and flow sensor or flow volume sensor or volume flow sensor is just here. We need to take it out and we need to clean it. Uh, if you haven't done this before, uh, what you can do is you can remove this cable, which is, I'll try to show you, it's just there. So you can remove this connector first. That's connector out. Let's have a quick look at the connector. Yep, definitely water went inside. So you remove the connector, then you're left with this turbine or this flow switch, all you do is you twist it anti-clockwise like that. Obviously, before you do this, you need to turn your cold water off from underneath the boiler. You need to drain your hot water out. Make sure the system is drained. And then you pop this out. This is what it looks like when the water goes through it. This thing spins, tells the sensor that there is a demand that currently is not doing as you can possibly see is soaked again we don't have this part on board today um, so we'll try to dry out and I'll update you if it works
you guys take it from me it's not easy to work with one hand and also make videos for you guys to entertain <laughs> okay guys so I've just put the flow volume sensor back in now and we're ready to turn the boiler back on and let's see if our hairdryer did the job oopsie okay let's have a look there's no demand on the boiler currently what we noticed just there from 1.8 to 2 bar so that's the flow switch water flow switch there detecting that the pumps on and it's gone down to 1.8 bar so the boilers on standby now so let's go have a look let's just run hot tap I can hear it I can hear it I can hear it perfect Boilers back on, obviously it's working on full rate, so it's not going to produce much condensation. So let's just turn hot water off. And then just warm up a bit. Yep, that's just warmed up. Well, let's just get heating going. And constant on heating demand is now on and I just want to make sure that when boiler comes on on heating it's going to produce a lot of condensation and I just want to make sure that's not going to start to leak again from the seal just there what was happening is that this water that was kind of coming out of that seal it was dropping behind this flue pipe and it was kind of landing on the side just behind there and it seemed like it was coming out of that joint there but it was just landing all inside on top of that flow switch let's see okay so the boiler's been on for us like five minutes and let's have a let's have a quick look. I can't see no water dripping down. That's the good news. All I need to do is turn the boiler off again and just dry all of that. The reason I'm not doing it is because if it was still going to leak, there's no point in me cleaning it whilst it's still leaking. I'm just going to turn everything off, clean it all up, and that's another happy customer. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.